How you going folks? It's Dylan here from No More Excuses. The past few weeks we've touched into a couple of the meal delivery services available in Australia and now it's time for another one. This week we're looking at My Muscle Chef. I had a few people, you know, friends and stuff message me over the past couple of weeks once I released the UFoods video and they said you need to do My Muscle Chef next. I had a look around, the reviews were really good, everybody was raving about it so I thought I'd jump in. I jumped online and ordered 11 meals and you'll see the review shortly. But first, a bit about the company. My Muscle Chef started as a simple idea by Tushar Menon. He was a university student in Western Sydney and he had this million dollar idea. He was a bodybuilder and he thought, all these frozen meal companies exist, but none of them offer high protein for bodybuilders. So after a few months of research, he decided to create a commercial kitchen and started the business. So with all the recommendations, I had to see what the fuss was about. The website is professionally built. A lot of thought definitely went into the design. Easy to read, easy to navigate, great looking features and information with every meal. The main page shows the latest discount voucher and even some meal plans based on certain body goals, whether it's muscle gain, performance or calorie control. You can find a tailor-made plan to suit you. This is a great initiative for those who don't know their macros too well. The menu is divided into five categories. Meals, plus breakfast, snacks, and drinks. All of those categories are very self-explanatory except for the plus range. This is their take on macro boosters and management. Essentially, they seem to be sides you can heat up alongside your meals if you need more calories, protein, carbs, whatever it is. The ordering process is much like most other websites. You pick what you want, you pay for it, you select a delivery time, and wait for it in the mail. You opt for your own scheduled delivery date and time, and you can also sign up to a weekly or fortnightly meal subscription as well, which means that you just change the menu around and every week or two weeks, a new package full of food is sent to you. My delivery arrived at around 11.30 p.m. I did have it scheduled for between four and 6 p.m., but I was up late grinding RuneScape levels, so thankfully I was still awake to get the box and take it inside. Unboxing these is always fun. Some nice insulation inside a cardboard box with ice packs and neatly packaged containers of food. At a cost of $123 delivered, I had 11 meals provided to me. A little on the expensive side, but they threw in a free snack as well, which I'll add into the review. So my order consisted of a beef lasagna, Asian chicken stir fry with hockey and noodles, Cajun chicken with dirty rice, chicken paella with brown rice, chipotle chicken burrito bowl, crumb chicken with roasted potatoes, a Mexican beef burrito bowl, naked beef burger with onion relish and salad, peppercorn steak with chimichurri roast vegetables, spaghetti bolognese, and a smoky barbecue brisket with sweet potato, kale, and feta mash. I dropped the box into the freezer. Every morning, I took a meal out, let it defrost over the day, and heated it up for dinner. This is how I went. First up was the free snack they included, a peanut butter choc protein bite. 178 calories, 8 grams of protein, 6 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, and 12 grams of fat. Like most protein snacks, expect it to be a little dense in texture, but I ate mine refrigerated and it was pretty good. At $5 a pop though, like most protein-based snacks, it's a little on the expensive side, but if money isn't an issue, then this will be right up your alley for a quick bite. The chicken paella with brown rice was next. A delicious combination of chicken pieces and brown rice with a Spanish spice flavoring. 426 calories, 44 grams of protein, 31 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, and 13 grams of fat. All of these meals are vacuum sealed in a plastic tub, so when you whack it into the microwave as it's heating, the plastic's going to expand and constrict again. It seems to keep the food fresh and moist inside, which was evident in pretty much all of the meals. Once I heated this up, I removed the plastic wrapping and onto the plate. I love my Spanish and Mexican foods, and this hit the spot. Absolutely bloody delicious. Next up was the peppercorn steak with chimichurri vegetables. Slices of Australian steak, veggies, and a green peppercorn gravy. Yum. 586 calories, 56 grams of protein, 26 grams of carbs, 6 grams of fiber, and 28 grams of fat. Out of the cardboard, nuke it, pull back the plastic, and whack it on a plate. The appearance was less of a steak and more of sliced meat, but the taste and texture was on point, so this gets a tick as well. Next up was the spag bowl. Spaghetti bolognese with a red wine tomato sauce. Lovely. 501 calories, 38 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fiber, and 15 grams of fat. Like the rest of the meals, 
cardboard off, radiate, peel back, eat. In the packaging, it looked like pasta with a blob of sauce, but once mixed through with a bit of parmesan, this was pretty good. The spaghetti itself was really, really thick. Um, it's a little thicker than your traditional spaghetti, but the texture was good. It was tasty and filling. Cajun chicken with dirty rice was next. Juicy chicken breast, Cajun spices, brown rice, a Cajun sauce, and grilled corn pieces. 500 calories, 51 grams of protein, 47 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, and 12 grams of fat. You know the process by now. After heating and serving on a plate, take in that smell. Another tick for this one. Great taste, great portions, solid macros. Could eat this one twice a week, and yeah, I'd be a very happy man. The next meal, however, was a bit of a letdown. It was the naked beef burger with onion relish and kale salad. 460 calories, 52 grams of protein, 13 grams of carb, 6 grams of fiber, and 29 grams of fat. After a quick heat up in the microwave, I was really looking forward to this one and was honestly disappointed. The only time with my muscle chef I couldn't finish the meal. The beef patty itself tasted great, but the onion relish was brutally overpowering. Even after trying to scrape it off the patty, I just couldn't get through it. It was too much and it ended up in the bin. Asian food was on the menu next with the Asian chicken stir fry. Chicken, noodles, vegetables, and a sweet chili sauce. Wonderful. 604 calories, 53 grams of protein, 69 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, and 12 grams of fat. We go through the routine more monotonous than training agility on RuneScape and onto the plate. I love me a good stir fry, and I'm pleased to say by my standards, this one was a tick. I have a saying. If you fuck up simple meals like chicken palmas or stir fries, you should not be in business. In this case, it was delicious and my muscle chef gets a pass. Back to Mexican with a beef burrito bowl. Shredded beef, mole sauce, black beans, rice, corn, and chipotle mayo. Excellent. 583 calories, 50 grams of protein, 45 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fiber, and 22 grams of fat. Play your favorite Mexican salsa music while this rotates and whack it onto a plate. I love burritos and I love bowls, so combining the two together is just a given. This one was pretty good. The beef felt like it was heavy, like if there's a word to describe it. It's hard to explain, but it's a little bit dense and something was a little miss, but it wasn't enough to say that it was bad. I still smashed this one out and I really enjoyed it. Sticking with the theme of Mexican bowls, the chipotle chicken was next. Chicken, spices, rice, beans, chipotle mayo, capsicum and cabbage. All of those are great on their own and combining them is always a good time. Prepare yourself for flavor countries. This one heats up and dish it up. This was the best meal on the menu. Leaps and bounds over everything else. Even the good meals taste like shit in comparison. If you're going to judge a company's ability by one product, then this is the one. If you're going to order my Muscle Chef, get five of these and just fucking send it. They're amazing. The barbecue beef brisket was next. Beef brisket in barbecue sauce, sweet potato, kale, and feta. 526 calories, 42 grams of protein, 42 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fiber, and 21 grams of fat. It's a weird thought of putting something that's traditionally slow cooked into a microwave, but once you've contemplated your life choices, plate it up and take it in. This one is great. I found mixing it all together into a giant pile of mess looked terrible, but it combined all of the flavors in every bite. If you were to put all of this into a big roll, it would be sensational, and next time I'm probably going to do that. There's something about lasagna that touches a special place in my heart, and this beef lasagna is no different. 447 calories, 42 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, and 19 grams of fat. If you've got an Italian nonna, she'd be smacking you over the head with a wooden spoon for using a microwave, but take the risk, heat it up, and enjoy. These microwave lasagnas always look hilarious when plated up, but this one tasted excellent. Enough so that my dog kept annoying me for a piece. He enjoyed it too. The final meal was the crumb chicken with roasted potatoes. With a side of chipotle mayo, the final meal I ordered didn't disappoint. 554 calories, 44 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, and 19 grams of fat. As the chicken was heating up, I was able to write up my summary coming up shortly, but first the chicken. We ended on a good note here. The chicken was tender, the potato was delicious, I mean you can't fuck this up. I rate it. So, is my muscle chef worth it? For the most part, yeah. It was one meal that didn't hit it for me. That was the naked uh, burger. But can I really deduct points for it? Probably, probably not. Um, the majority of the meals were delicious. 
and the nutritional content on all of them is pretty much on point, especially if you're trying to build muscle. So it gets a tick. Not to mention that while I was eating these over the space of two weeks, I still continued my weight loss. So if you're trying to cut calories, this is a great way to do it. But I can't just blow smoke up their ass. I do need to point out a couple of the problems as well. The first one is a common trend with a lot of the meal, you know, frozen services. It's very hard in some towns to find the retail version of them. So if you're gonna pop down to your local Coles or Woolies, chances are you're not going to find them. Like they, on the website, they don't even advertise Coles. They do have Woolies, a couple of the Shell service stations, but if you're gonna be doing a weekly shop with your groceries, don't expect to find these that you can add into your trolley with everything else. Um, hopefully as the business grows, they've been around for about eight years now and gets a much bigger user base and more capacity to be able to freight these out in stock stores. We'll probably see it at some time in the future. I don't imagine a reason they wouldn't. And at that point, the accessibility is gonna be much greater. But besides that, if you're watching these, you do have an internet connection. So you don't really have an excuse to say, oh, it's too hard to get. The other point was whether it was through the fault of the company or the courier that delivered it, my package arrived about five to six hours earlier than I was anticipating. Um, normally with most deliveries, this isn't a problem, but when you're dealing with fresh food, especially in the middle of summer where it was a 32 degree night in Melbourne, it was that one night where it just did not cool down, it was sticky as fuck. There was a very, very good chance for those ice packs to defrost even inside the insulation and the food to go off or rancid. Um, thankfully I was awake and this was not a problem whatsoever. But if there was a little bit more transparency or a little bit more accuracy in the times that I posted, um, this issue would not be there. Um, but besides that, overall, you know, I enjoyed the experience. Definitely liked most of the things that I tasted on the menu. And I'll be ordering again purely because I'm a lazy fuck that doesn't like cooking. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this review, um, please make sure to like and subscribe to the No More Excuses channel. Leave some comments in the videos if there's a different service that you enjoy. And either myself or Aiden will get around to ordering a week's worth of it and giving a review. Whether we like it or not, we're going to be honest. And that's all we can pretty much ask for. So until next time, thanks a lot for watching. And stick around for more videos in the future. Cheers.